is March 19th here at Bee Busters. We got yet another uh, swarm of bees, as well as a uh, bumblebee from our live bumblebee rescue the other day. She decided to come over here and visit the uh, honeybees, which is not where we want her to be. So I'm gonna move her later, but for now we'll put her out of the way. Got a sugar water here, like you do when you got a package of bees. What that does is kind of distracts them. Um, get busy trying to kind of clean off the sugar water from each other, and that helps them uh, move into their new home without flying off. Lots of bees in here. If we had just nice docile bees here, I wouldn't be wearing this full suit and gloves, but just yesterday was another good example of someone brought back another swarm that I tried to treat like a docile swarm and they stung the heck out of me. <laughs> so, a nice good swarm. And big swarms are more indicative of more European traits. Here's the test. Not so bad. Yeah, so these bees are alright. I'm just going to move it right on down into the box here. I'll try to see the queen, because if I can find her, I can put her in a box. I can put her in one of those little queen cages. And then she can't leave, and I'll let her out after three days. And then the bees will be guaranteed not to bounce out. Because sometimes they bounce right out of the box within a day of getting put in there. But if they stay about 24 hours, then they're, they're there to stay. You can see that heap that we had a moment ago all gone down already. My philosophy is that uh, if they're nice enough that you can work with your hands, pushing them around, it's better to do it with your hand because you're less likely to get brutal and crush them. If you know that you're going to get stung if you use them. <laughs> much more able to, to be gentle with them with your bare hands. Alright, now that they're all pretty well in here, you see we've got nine frames in this box, ten. I always take one out so they can fit down in it easier. Now we're going to push them to the side and get them frame in. I'll just push the frames until they're about a bee length apart. Kind of just a nudge, and the bees that are in between them will realize they're going to get out of the way. A bunch of chains of bees across here. Same kind of thing. You just go in gently with the frame you're going to insert there.
itself to kind of leave in a bit more space. Voila. These in the box.